All right, guys, obviously it's, uh, it's been a little bit since we gave you a Charlie Brown update video. The motor's obviously in this thing. Um, we've got a lot done. And uh, what we're gonna do now is just kind of take you through everything to leading up to this point uh, and give you a, a more insight of the process of what it took to get here. So I got my inner frame rails made here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cap the end of these because they're not gonna tie in. I uh, kind of planned out if we ever do move the motor back and do a strut front end on this thing, this is where my motor plate will be. Um, so I'm kind of thinking forward if, if I ever do change it. Um, but I already got these made. I'm gonna go ahead and cap these on the bench just because it'll be easier to do. See how thin they are? Let me see. See that? Yeah. Wait. I guess it all adds up. It all adds up. Ball a little weld. Feels like the good old days. Back to back, back to the beginning. Because we only had like one car we were working on, so we, Brad would fit, I would weld. Brad would fit, I would weld. <laughs> Just real efficient. Because <laughs> you know, anything else to do. If you're doing your first cage ever in a car, you want to drill a hole behind each tube to let the cage bent because when you're TIG welding them together, when you go to cap that tube off, the tube will actually build pressure up inside of it. And when you get to the very end of the weld, it'll pop and blow back out at you. It's like the old saying, measure twice, cut once. Mm. I like to measure 47 uh, times and weld once. There we go. <laughs> we'll weld it to rockers with this silicon bronze. Bronze melts at the way lower temperature. And we're not real sure what this metal is. GM calls it steel, but we're not convinced. <laughs> this car is going to be 25 to 1. So it actually doesn't need floor plates. So if you're watching us build this and you're like, that's wrong. It's not. You got to read the fine print. Yeah. This episode is sponsored by Harbor Freight. <laughs> Set down. Yeah. So that'll move the tube up. Hmm. Solid. Beautiful. Well, like those, that offset notch, such a trick little thing. Like you can tell, you can tell people, when you look at a car, you can tell who's built a lot of them. Yeah. Always, who's only built a couple. Because like those little tricks like that make, and most people probably would never even notice that, but it, it just makes the overall finished product so much better. If, if you look at any of our cars, they normally look like very, very simple. Mm -hmm. And that's because I've planned out like all the tube work, how the floor pans and the wheel tubs and the back trunk floor and everything where everything's gonna lay. You'll see a lot of cars, especially like when people do tin work or carbon in the back or something, and they'll have like all these little pieces fitting around all these tubes and it's like super complicated because they didn't plan out the tin work or the carbon work ahead of time. So now it's like very difficult and there's 40 pieces mm. where ours is like two pieces. What are you doing right now? Gonna make the main hoop for Charlie. We drew it up in Bentec, or Brad did, and got all my measurements from my bend locations. There has to be probably an expensive, expensive version of this where you just type in what you need and does oh, it automatically, right? Brad's been looking at it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are Brad's safety glasses. I think when I put them on, I'm gonna- Keep the power? I can feel it <laughs> pulsating through my temple.
really on there. Yeah. Well, the. I want Brad to look at it. We just fit it and didn't take any more off. Just kind of fit around like where it's touching right there. Yeah. I mean, it'd be like a nice tight little gap up there, and you can see it follows the, the body line really good. Yeah. Brad, you take a look. Well, that's what I'm hoping is it's sitting high right now. So by the time I take, well, no, back here, so don't. Well, no, I'm saying that once I take off to fit around the tubes and stuff right now, yeah. it'll drop down. That's fine. Yeah, but it'll be back here. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you had any, like, angle figured out already. Yeah. I don't want it back here. So as yeah. far back as we can get it without being able to over here. Yes. <laughs> okay. Jason, he said, we don't want this body falling off. I'm just going to stitch it all the way down through there. I think I could do it. Had a gap. I didn't think you couldn't do it. I knew you'd do it. It was just like, it was a pretty astronomical little gap there. I mean, bronze is like MIG welding. Yeah. <laughs> Man, everything's gonna, it sucks when you cut your car apart, but now when it's going back together, you're like, I'm glad we did it. Cause I, it, the other cage, it didn't fit horrible, but it didn't fit like, every car we've ever raced, like I'm ashamed to open the door. I'm like, don't look at that. Or like, we didn't do that. Don't look at this. Don't look at this. Like, now this thing like actually being one of our cars makes me a lot happier. <laughs> the only tube left is that one right up there. It's the only, it's the only oh, original one. tube left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't like it, but don't look at that. <laughs> don't look at that. <laughs> Everything else. On the off chance that it's perfect and I don't have to take it off. <laughs> I'm saying it's going to be perfect. I'm not saying that, but it would really suck to fish it back in there. Yeah. It's a good sign. It's a very good sign. <laughs> that one dropped right in. Come on. Ooh. We might have just hit her first try. Good. Oh my gosh, baby. Perfectly level. Like you've done this four times. <laughs> People always think I've done more than I have. Let me see what Jason Terrell is up to. Oh no. It was on the phone. Well, I don't know what happened, but we did do it on the first time. So, that worked out good. And that's a good thing that I cleaned the ends of it, because now we don't have to pull it out again. <laughs> Want to get some cookie? Yeah, my blood. I feel it. I can definitely feel it dipping. Were these? Ah, don't worry about for it. For the thing tonight? I don't know. Well, there's water too, so. Ah, this one looks big. <laughs> Probably warm. He's not in here. Look at that little miniature bottle of Hershey. I know. I, I thought the cap would come off, but it doesn't. Mm. Well, oh He's well. probably pooping. Mm. Jason, you in here? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Women's restroom. He's Brett, the one. Uh, I don't go in the woman's <laughs> bed. You learned your lesson? I learned my lesson about pooping in there. I don't know where he went. Let's we'll just run it. I'll hold it. Yeah, I could have pretty much tacked it by now. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. It's really good. I know. Which one's that one? Well, I don't know. Is there another one? Yeah, there's a second one. There it is. Look at that. That one should say drivers on it. Somebody was, somebody was complaining about you interacting with us, Rick. I like you interacting with us. Do they? Who was complaining? Somebody made a comment about the camera guy interacting. I'm like, 
way more than a camera, guys. Am I supposed to just sit here and not say anything? <laughs> <or you? laughs> That's asking for a block, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. It's like that rocker. It's like right there. <laughs> Holy Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get it level now. <laughs> oh yeah, so much more clearance right there. <laughs> Rick, can you get that big tube out there? Hopefully, it's a rotation. Yeah. What happened here? The fan way too far forward. You're like two inches too far forward. Uh, I thought when I asked you, I thought. I didn't really held it up there and said, this is where I want it. Yeah, that looks like. not take a. Mental picture. It looked, like it, was, it looked like it was almost touching right here when you held it up there. So that's yeah, it. Literally was touching right here. I'm sorry. I mean, it works there. It's already tacked in. I don't hate it. <laughs> I'll take. I'll take. I don't hate back. it. <laughs> what did you do, Doc? I wanted to bang it back further. Shut that door. Jason did this nice piece of titanium right here compared to the crappy other one. Two pounds. Two pounds it took off? Two pounds. Just this little plate right here going from a steel one to this little piece of titanium. Really? And then the titanium one is. seat this time did it what He's pour in so which you'll sit there and he'll just pour it around you kind of <laughs> i i actually well you never really done it but they they mix up like we've had cars that have had it done but i've never like watched them do it mm -hmm. come out for five minutes yep so you're all good now to get out i'm so warm oh yeah look at that so here's the, the mold of your body yeah my wife says i don't have a butt but look at that there's a, clearly i have a butt <laughs> So now what we'll do is we'll pull this out again. It's funny you're in Todd's booth, he likes Milwaukee tools and we give him crap. So some people use uh, turkey cutters. So this one's done for our carbon bucket, <laughs> but you can do this for a turkey, you can do anything, right? Yep, we do turkeys all the time. Yeah, so uh, and then they sell this as a kit, which you can buy that kit through us if you want to try to mix it up on your own. Does it come with that big bag? Yes, everything comes included. Okay, so you're ready to ready to go, ready to make a turkey, mess. Except for the turkey cutter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Turkey cutter. <laughs> Got our floor pans made. Um, this is the driver side stuff. This is all just like 22 gauge tin. Uh, made our templates. Then I cut them, uh, feed rolled them. So they look nice. We get a ton of questions of what this broth, like what this gold color weld is. So this is all silk and bronze. I basically do a, a one inch stitch every couple inches is, is kind of the formula that we use. Um, but you can see this is nice and flat. It's not all like whoop de doo The stitches are so satisfying. Right here, Rick. Mm -hmm. Laziness. This is actually the last piece. We'll have a couple pieces of tin here. Um, and then after that, it's going to be, I think we're just going to use the black aluminum. What you doing, boys? Don't put me on camera. <laughs> Let's 
It's finally time. <laughs> it's coming off the jig. Maybe. Maybe, yeah, if we can get it off. Uh, that don't fit. I can't get in there far enough to cut the tacks. That's a that's a six inch cutoff wheel. Yeah, yeah. that's that's yeah. not OSHA approved. It's a four and a half inch grinder with the guard removed with a six inch blade on it. How, and how, it still doesn't fit in. How wore down the chop saw blade? Uh, that, yeah, <laughs> now we're talking. Now we're talking. I got another idea. I got this badass snap on air hammer that pretty much blow through anything. You're going to blow through it. doesn't blow through the pinch weld. Yeah, you're going to blow yeah. through the rocker. I so. Might have straightened that pinch weld out a little bit. Well, things are happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah. Todd, look. Dang, boys. It's free. Where the wheels at? How are you guys? Huh? Do we have the rears yet? Nah, they're on, still in order, but. What are you putting on the rear? We got alphas for it, but they're not here. There it is. Yeah, it's pretty much done. Ready for Jaybird in the morning. You got any closing thoughts? Closing. Far from closing. Yeah. All right, guys, Charlie's off the chassis table. Uh, he's sitting on a lift, which is a great sign. Um, last week, we concluded that we were not going to go to Texas. Uh, it really wasn't. We had a lot of work left that I think we could have got done on this. Uh, we could have hurried up and put it together. Uh, but the major problem was we bought a new laser, which is sick. We're super excited about that. It's a fiber laser. It's gonna cut really fast. Uh, all these rad things, but it had a non-negotiable delivery date that we didn't know when that was gonna happen. So it's actually getting delivered tomorrow, and today is Thursday. So uh, the week of small tire games. So, um, we slowed down and we're doing some other things to the car that we really wanted to do, that we weren't gonna have time to do. I don't really, we don't really have a plan of when it's gonna be done now. Um, we're just gonna do it the way that we want. Uh, and we're truly making him exactly how we want the car to be. So, uh, but you will see me in Texas. Brad, unfortunately has to stay here to work. Uh, I'm flying to Texas uh, in the morning. So if you see me at Small Tire Gangsters, Come by, say what's up. Um, Jimmy Dale and Poland and Nebraska are trying to get me to drive the Nitrous Cowboy. So I am going to take my driving suit uh, and we'll see what happens. So, as always, we appreciate you guys watching and look forward to another one or two Charlie Brown update videos.